can't believe it. I mean, you and and then the zeppelin and, and the fire. And the altar says that... Do you have any idea what all of this means? You speak! I, I mean, of, of course you speak. What am I, a blathering idiot? Wait, what, what did you say? Maybe I should be writing all of this down. By the gods! I cannot believe that the Living One has been reincarnated in the body of an imbecile! You are the reincarnation of... Uh... Well... I'm not exactly sure who it was, but, uh... You are here to save us! Yes! You have been reborn! You are a powerful elf! You, uh... Oh, bloody hell, this is ridiculous! Why did the gods return your spirit in this defective shell? If only I wasn't so new to the Panari religion. Follow me, idiot. I mean, oh, living one. I need to take you down the mountain to Shrouded Hills to meet with the Elder Joaquim. He'll know what to do with you. I apologize for any offense, living one. Please accompany me to Shrouded Hills. I can only hope that you will change your mind. I will wait here until your return. Have you changed your mind? I am ready to follow you if that is my path. The path out of here leading down to Shrouded Hills is down to the southeast. We'll stop by the Panari Shrine on the way out. See if it makes any of this any more clear. We should look for any other survivors before we leave, though. What do you think? And my name is Virgil, idiot. I exalted living one, sir. As far as what our next step is, I believe that we should do two things. We should try to find the Elder Joachim and then find out who the owner of that ring is. Virgil. My name is Virgil! We should try to find Gilbert Bates. Bates? Inventor of the steam engine. By the gods, you are dense! We find Bates. He lives in Tarant. Look, imbecile! The name is Virgil. As invigorating, uh, as fun as killing the doddering old fool was, now we don't know what to do next. We search Bates' house, okay? What can I answer for you? I, I don't even know what you just called me. All right, genius. Let's go to the Black Mountain Mines and see if we can find out why everyone is trying to kill us. If you, We need to... Hey, you called me Virgil. Good show! Perhaps you're wising up a bit after all. Let's go find someone insane enough to take us to the Isle of Despair. Answer. We need to locate the Black Mountain Clan on the Isle of Despair, I suppose. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this. I've spent my life trying to stay off that cursed island. I mean, uh, everyone has heard how horrible it is to be sent there. Not again. Look, sir, my name is Virgil. We need to go speak with the leader of the Wheel Clan. Let's go, genius. What is this? It seems a strange flying device, but much smaller than the blimp. I've never seen anything like it. And isn't that an ogre among the wreckage? It seems very unlikely that an ogre would have the intelligence to fly such a complex device. Yes, whatever you say, O oh living one. Oh, this is unbelievable. It seems even fate is not without a sense of humor. Hold on. Do you see the amulet that he's wearing? What's that strange symbol on its face? Why am I not surprised? Oh well, let's be on our way. And be careful. These wolves are none too friendly. Let's go, genius. Well, I must say I've never been fond of barbarians. Indeed. If a dwarf would associate with someone who couldn't dress themselves properly. What? Who? Tapped wizards in their ways. Show yourself, coward. Strange company you keep, friend. Hello. You're as dull as a desert, friend. Such a shame. You won't last long in Tarant. Is there something I can help you with? What? You're worse than I thought. One more time? Ah, uh, yes. This is the store of B. Skylar and Sons. Bastards. Why do you want to speak with them? I can't understand a thing you're trying to say. You're beyond help, I believe. 
May the gods smile on your plight and take you soon. Good day. Hello again. I have no time for you, my dim-witted friend. Please, find someone else to bother. Ark! My guard! World's smartest orc! You have got question? Oh, please. A fruit fly is more intelligent than you could ever hope to possess, my dim-witted friend. Now, scamper along before you hurt yourself by attempting to think. <laughs> now, there's a laugh. A damned barbarian walking the streets. Excuse me, but... Uh, were you born in a bloody barn? P please, cover yourself. Oh, please. Must we really do this sort of thing? Invisibility is so blasé. Huh. Strange company you're keeping these days. Ah, uh, yes? My name is Geoffrey Tarlon Dash, and who, might I ask, are you? I'm tending to my own business. That's what I'm doing. I swear the manners of the peasantry. Such a waste of my time. Goodbye. I refuse to speak to any individual in that state of undress. Please put on your clothes. I am not in the mood for your wizard's tricks. I will not speak with you until you cease your magical activity. What answers do you seek? It is ironic that my greatest mistake is that which brought me such wealth. As a youth, I was enamored of all things dwarven, so I sought out the nearest clan and attempted to impress them with my grasp of their technology. They laughed. I gave Stenar that ring the last time I saw him, and now we are both dead. The Black Mountain clan has been marked on your map. And why would the village idiot be addressing me? Where did you get that ring? Did a dwarf give it to you? Scar? Where was this Scar? Speak up, you ignorant fool! Damn them all to hell! What did they do to you, Stenner? I know you're not Stenner, fool! Just pretend you're not a complete imbecile and listen! I need to share this with someone, and as luck would have it, and you won't understand half of it anyway. Hmm. He might just be stupid enough to do something for me. You go to the Black Mountain Mines and find where Clan went to. Okay? You dare? I suggest you change your mind, simpleton. I'll mark your map. Now get out. Come back when you're done. And what would the imbecile like to tell me now? How could I have forgotten who I was speaking to? You go to Island, where bad people are. Here's Ashbury on map. Go find Captain Teach. He take you. And what would the imbecile like to tell me now? Is that so? You do that. Sure, why not? It is some gold. Please, leave me alone. And what would the imbecile like to tell me now? I have no time for this. You don't really have anything of importance to tell me, do you? Just as I suspected. Leave now, okay? Here's some coins. Get out of here. And what would the imbecile like to tell me now? By the gods, man, what are you saying? Thanks. Really, you have been so extremely helpful. You bleeding idiot! I'll give you these coins to never come back here, okay? Greetings, traveler. It seems to me that you're looking for answers. Perhaps it is time that I answered them for you. Don't you know? Are you not the reincarnation of Nazrudin? Has it been so long that you don't recognize your old nemesis? 
But perhaps you're not the living one after all. Merely a puppet playing his role. I see. Perhaps you are not the living one. Perhaps Nazarene, the coward that he is, will not heed fate's call and face me in the final battle. It would be so like him to do so. I am he of the dark, the rightful ruler of this land, the vengeful god of Arcanum and its races. I am Aronax, and I have come to give you a message. The message is this. Whether you are the living one or not, whether or not the coward Nasruddin hides in your bones or still rots in his grave, the inevitable will still come to pass. I am returning. It has already been set in motion, and there is nothing you can do about it. I am returning, and all will fall before me. Everyone you know, everyone you love. Do you see my power? Do you yet understand? Perhaps I need to be more clear. No one is safe, Traveler. No one. Not even you. Remember what I have shown you here. Remember and tell the world. Aronax is returning to Arcanum, and nothing, nothing will ever be the same. You have the audacity to take that tongue with me? I've spilled oceans of blood with this axe. The bodies of the fallen would make a mountain to hide the sun. And you dare? No, you listen. I've come here to writhe upon the blade of my sorrow, to live the thousand deaths by the ancient right of kings. These laws are passed down through the mountain from the beginning of remembered time. Your life is forfeit to them, as is my own. Do you understand? What? What is wrong with you, stranger? Are you dim? What is a simpleton like you doing roaming the caverns of the dredge? Then speak, foolish one. I've no stomach for slaughtering idiots, but my patience runs thin. Oh no. My crime is even worse than I'd imagined. Mere exile is no suitable punishment for the atrocity I've committed. It's no longer important, friend. There's nothing I can do to right this wrong. The elves? They had threatened war. War! Do you know what a war between the elves and the dwarves would mean? Arcanum wouldn't have survived the conflict. And yet now, knowing this about the Black Mountain Clan, I would have warred against the entire world to defend their honor. Technology. Technology had ruined their forests. Steam-powered logging machines. And they blamed the Black Mountain Clan for sharing their technology with Bates. It doesn't matter anymore. It seems I've been fooled and have sacrificed my dwarven brethren to some darker plot. It seems I was never fit to lead. Take this, a letter sent to me from the elves who approached me. Within it is a name, Mingorad. Perhaps you should seek out Kintara, City of the Elves. I know not where it is, but the village of Stillwater is near the edge of the glimmering forest in which, it is said, Kintara lies. Maybe someone there will know where to find it. This is all I have and all I'm willing to give. I'll say no more. Leave me. I return to my exile. I am nothing. What? What is this? I am dead. You've killed me, and now you call me back to the lands of the living? And the pain I feel, worse here than anything I ever felt in life. What? What? Oh, oh, oh! The pain is great. Perhaps only this is a true punishment for my crimes. I must endure. 
crimes against my people. The Black Mountain Clan. I betrayed them all. What? What do you mean? Were they killed? Oh, oh it hurts. Then where? Where? Where are they? The elves. They threatened war. Oh, oh, Mingorod. The name of the elf. Please, leave me alone. I must face this pain alone. I don't know. Try to find Kintara. I don't know where it is, but someone in Stillwater might be able to help you. Oh, gods. Please let me be. A barbarian in the trees of Kintara? There's a sight we don't see every day. We elves are fairly open-minded, but manners are manners. Try to cover yourself next time. The elves of Kintara are used to magic, but we also don't like to be tricked. Show yourself next time. Greetings. We elves are used to the ways of magic. Your companions will surprise no one here. It's been a while since we've seen this magical affliction. You'll draw some laughs here in Kintara. So, a murderer I see before me. My own. And you have the audacity to call me back? I reside now in the lands of my mother. You hold no power over me. You know I cannot. But I have no intention of helping you any further. I can wait here for a long time. And why should I answer, Elf Slayer? <laughs> no, forgive me. Please, ask your question. <laughs> Seek the one I love, murderer. Seek the one I love. Greetings. It's a great pleasure to make your acquaintance. And I don't know you. Save your compliments. My name is unimportant, but you may call me Raven if you call me anything. If you must. I'm sorry, but I'm very busy right now. I may have time to speak with you later, but right now I have business to attend to. Unless, of course, you'd like to help. Ah, it's wonderful to see you again. If you must. I'm sorry, but I... All right. There is a group of humans camped not far from here. The place is called Falcon's Ake. I'll mark your map. It is Elven Holy Ground. Do you understand? Wait! Special land. It's very special land to me. Okay? Yes, yes. You need to find out why they are there, and then you can make sure that they leave. But this is very important. You cannot raise a hand to them. There are spirits there, and they will do bad things to people who are violent to other people. Do you understand? Don't hit, okay? Don't hit. Thank you, my simple friend. Here's where it is. Be careful, and come back when you've done this. Ah, it's wonderful to see you again, if you must. Very good. Thank you very much. Now, how can I help you? A dark tale full of pain. And it would seem that the blame lies with us, the elves. I'm sorry, but there are no elves here with that name. Normally, I'd allow you to speak with my mother, but I can't have someone in your mental condition speaking to the Queen of the Elves. There is one possibility. Mingarod might be a dark elf. You might want to find the Dark Elves and see if this Mingarod is among them. The Dark Elves are different from us. They are bad. Think bad thoughts. I don't know where they are. They are hidden from us, even from my mother. I'm sorry, you're on your own in finding them. Wait, I may have a clue. Many years ago, there was a man who came here looking for the Dark Elves. He was a human, very intelligent and a bit overdressed. His name was Renford. Renford A. to Williger. I don't know where he is or what happened to him, but if you can find him, he might know something of the Dark Elves. I don't know, but I would start looking in the major human cities. Return to me if you find the village of the Dark Elves. I'll be very interested in knowing if they're actually behind any of this. Good luck. Hello again. It's so very good to see you. If you must. Congratulations. Perhaps your mental state isn't as much of a hindrance as one might think. And did you find Mingarad? Her. She was a woman? It's a pity you took care of her yourself. I would like to have met this Mingarad. No matter. What did she say? Interesting. 
It seems that the Black Mountain Clan was banished in order to help Aranex weaken the wards. He's really coming back. We elves are a magical race, and wise to the ways of ruin and prophecy, but I never really thought... Regardless, we must act. Aranex is an old elf, my friend. An old elf who was banished, uh, sent away many years ago. It seems that he is coming back, just as the prophecy said. If you have more questions about him, go to any Panari temple. The priest there can help you. Forget it, I'm sure you'll figure it out. When you left to find the Dark Elves, I spoke with my mother, the Silver Lady, about you. She said that if you returned, it was very important that you speak with her. Yes, the Silver Lady. Go to her. She's just beyond the large door behind me. Be very direct. Ask her what you're supposed to do next. Hopefully she will have the answer we need. Return to me when you have spoken with her. Hello again. It's so very good to see you. If you must, you did. And what did she tell you? Your answer is with Nasruddin? Very strange, my simple-minded friend. Nasruddin has been dead for more than 2,000 years. Yes, yes, I feel the same way. <laughs> I would recommend you begin your search at the first temple of the Panari in Caledon. They will have more information about Nasruddin and Aranex than I. Good luck and good journey. My heart and spirit go with you. A barbarian? That's almost amusing. Almost. How very rude of you! I'd appreciate it if you'd cover yourself. You have an interesting taste in companions. I don't want to talk with someone I can't see. Please, reveal yourself. What? Oh my, you seem to have a small problem. Greetings. It's a pleasure to meet you. Ugh! Leave me alone! I've nothing to say to the likes of you! Is it customary for the assassins of the Malokian Hand to draw attention to themselves with an inappropriate manner of dress? Why is a foot soldier of the Malokian Hand standing in my chambers flaunting his magics? When my guards informed me a foot soldier of the Malokian Hand was here to see me, I couldn't guess what you could possibly have to speak with me about. Judging from the Hand's famed reputation, I assume you were here to tell me that the survivor has been located and eliminated. You were not a very convincing liar. What made you think you could deceive me on this matter? Are you here to test our intelligence, or do you just wish to die? What, may I ask, is a complete idiot even doing addressing me? Get out of here now, you idiot. That information does not concern you. I will not tell you again to leave my chambers, fool. That would be Aranax, and I didn't actually kill him. Are you all right? Of course not, my impaired friend. You were asking about Aranax. He was my son. Do you understand? I led the Elven Council in banishing him to the Void. I'm too old. I can do nothing. Somewhat like your mind. I can think of only one possible strategy to defeat him now. You must retrieve the Vendegroth device that was meant to destroy him. And so it was, above ground. There are many catacombs and tunnels lying beneath the surface. Some of the members attempted to retrieve it to use against Aranax, but they never returned. We were forced to battle him without it, and you know the consequence of that. Extremely powerful mages have the ability to regenerate themselves whenever they are badly hurt, as I did. If one is even powerful enough to hurt a master sorcerer gravely, Hurt magic guy heals himself in a big ball. This thing sucks his life out of him. It's a... Uh, gooey. And he cannot be... Uh, made alive again. The ruins of Vendegroth are lost to time within the vast desert created when Aranax called his destruction down upon them. I do not know what to tell you other than to go to the wastes to see what you may find. You must then meet me in the Ring of Broadgar. I will banish you to the Void from there. Oh, and make certain you bring as many allies as possible. 
Even with the device, it will not be a simple matter to defeat Aranax. Look, idiot. It is the only way. Go get the device. I'll meet you at the Ring of Brodgar. You have no choice. Of course, my impaired fellow. What would you care to know? Ah, you must be referring to the prophecies. If one were superstitious or gullible such as yourself, it would almost seem as if they were coming true. You do seem to be in the center of all this somehow. Which of the wretched souls would you like to hear about? Gorgoth, Krakatoa, Kurgan, perhaps the Bane of Cree? Gorgoth's is a simple tale, though disturbingly common in the Age of Legends. He was a mindless beast with an insatiable appetite, yet a liking for halflings, if I recall correctly. Bringing him low to quite a fierce battle, though a mindless one. We could think of nothing to do with him, so he banished him to the void to keep him from wreaking any more havoc. Which of the wretched Krakatur was a conniving coward who found a way to turn himself into a twisted monster, half man and half dragon? In this form, he terrorized cities and villages, killing their inhabitants and burning them to the ground. After a colossal battle and his defeat at the hands of the Council, he cried and begged us not to banish him. Pathetic. Which of the wretched Kurgan was the only human member of the Elven Council? He persisted in developing the necromantic arts after the Council had told him to stop. Ugly business, really. Stealing corpses, experimenting on them, bringing them back to life, only to kill them again. Which of the wretched... The Bane of Cree. Bringing him to justice was what established my reputation as a warrior, which eventually led to legends surrounding me which I had no control over. The Bane was a nomad warrior who was able to gather together nearly all the ancient nomadic tribes and create a vicious army out of them. I became involved when he slaughtered the army of Cree. Of course, my imp... You've come seeking information? Pelosia, wait. You are an idiot. How can this be? How can you be an idiot? Of course you are not. But I have absolutely no idea how you will solve the mystery of Pelosian's pool. Well, I have no idea how you will ever figure it out, but you need to discern how to get his spirit to talk to you. He appears above Pelosian's pool every night at midnight, but has never spoken. Good luck. You are going to need it. Please do not bother me. Speaking with someone of your limited mental skills is taxing at best. I cannot help you. Well, what brings you? That is fairly obvious, you simple-minded fool. What are you here for?